Nice little oscilloscope here. Perfect for setting gains, for amplifiers, finding the clip point on your radio so you know how loud to turn it up before you actually set the gains up on your radio. I mean, this thing will pretty much do every single thing you need it to do as far as car audio at the cost of about 45 bucks shipped to your door. You can run it off an AC power source and plug it in, or you can get a nine volt adapter plug that'll just plug in here and run off a nine volt adapter. But basically you just flip it on Boots up. You set it to 20. Then you have different options. You have 10, 5, 2, 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, so on. But for setting gains or finding the clip point of your head unit, you'll want it to be at 20. You want a 5 millisecond delay. <clears throat> you want to set your trigger to auto. That way it automatically picks up everything. If you're setting up your bass amp, for example, <clears throat> you'll want to run a 40 hertz, 0 decibel test tone. The frequency will come up right across the screen here. It'll tell you, you know, 40 hertz. It's detecting 40 hertz. Over here, you'll see your voltage that the amp's actually putting out an AC voltage. Basically, like clamping your amplifier. You can take that, compare it to, a, you know, a table that's available through Google, and it'll tell you exactly how much power your amp's putting out. <coughs> And at the same time, you'll just watch the screen here. The sine wave will come across the screen, up and down. You'll turn the gain up on the amplifier. It'll go up. Once it detects clip, the top of the wave will flatten off. You'll back the gain down just a hair until it rounds itself back off again. And you have officially set your amp up for maximum output with no clipping. And you're never going to worry about messing up your amplifier. Uh, it's probably the best 40 bucks you could possibly spend to make sure that your car audio is set up properly, you have no distortion, and you're getting maximum output from your equipment. And these are about as simple as you could possibly want. I mean, they do everything you need it to do. It's not complicated to use. So... Hopefully this helps somebody, uh, you know, save a voice coil, helps them set up their amplifiers, get their equipment running. But it's uh, pretty simple to use. Basically, you just disconnect your uh, subwoofer. For example, if you're doing your bass amp, you disconnect your subwoofer. You connect your red to the positive, your black to the negative. And then, like I said, you'll begin to see everything come across the screen here. And you'll know for sure that everything is set up correctly. Since a lot of times, these new amplifiers, they have clip indicators. The clip indicator light will either come on too early or too late. So they're not really something that I would trust. I pay no attention to mine. I actually run a custom base knob, so I don't have to see the clip light. Since I set my equipment up with scopes, I know it's not clipping. So I'm not worried about watching a clip light. I mean, I'm telling you, this is about the best $45 you could spend to make sure that your system is set up exactly the way you want it. You got your little switch air, you just flip it to AC. Like I said, you, um, you want to set it to 20 volts, make sure it's on AC, five millisecond delay. You want it to be set for auto. And that's it. You're good to go. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. 
You can get these on Amazon or eBay for uh, between 43 and 48 bucks. I got this one for 45. Um, I have a high-end fluke scope, but honestly, this one's faster to set up, easier to set up, and it's just as accurate as my fluke is, so I prefer using this one since all I got to do is flip the on button on. The settings stay exactly where I want them. I don't have to mess with nothing. All I do is plug it in, hook it up, set everything, and disconnect it, and hook the speakers back up. Where with the fluke, I got to sit there and re set all the settings every single time it, it this is just much more convenient but like i said they're pretty straightforward to use you'll see the sine wave come up across the screen you know you hit clip once the wave goes up flattens off and comes back down you'll back the game back down just a hair so it's perfectly round up and down and you know you got maximum output and it's clean signal and like I said, you can also find the clip point on your radio, for example, by connecting the red and black off of the oscilloscope to, say, your left front speaker output. You can connect it to your RCAs to figure out your RCA voltage. Your RCA voltage will come up here. It'll tell you how much RCA voltage you have. I mean, these are pretty vital whenever it comes time to setting up your equipment. You could buy one for 45 bucks, or you could pay an audio shop 250 to use theirs. <clears throat> or you could buy an SMD DD1 and spend the better part of $300 and end up with the same exact results as this. So, I mean, the choice is yours, but I've been doing pro audio for 20 years and SPL competitions, and I choose an oscilloscope every time because I feel like it's more accurate. So... I mean, that's my two cents on it. However you prefer to set up your system is on you, but using an oscilloscope, I've never thrown a single coil, and I've never had any issues. So hopefully this video helps you guys out here, and I'll leave a link in the description for where you can get it from Amazon. Thanks, guys.